If the apparitions of Our Lady at Garabandal are true, then the apparitions of Our Lady at Medjugorje are definitely false. A lot of people seem to think that you can just accept every single apparition of Our Lady as true and then squeeze them all together in some single coherent line as to the events that will lead up to the end of the world. Unfortunately, it doesn't work out. A lot of the apparitions are mutually exclusive. I remember when I was a teenager, I got to know a girl and she was really funny because she knew about every single Marian apparition out there and every single person that was claiming to receive messages from heaven. And she juggled them all, believing that they were all equally true. And I remember trying to show how inconsistent this was and it just could, couldn't get through to her. She wanted to believe every single visionary out there. She even wanted to believe the little pebble who now I understand is serving time in an Australian prison. She still wanted to believe in his messages because he had claimed they were from heaven. But to the point, you can't actually accept both Medjugorje and Garabandal. They are actually mutually exclusive. You see, they are both claiming that in their location, there's going to be a great miracle that will lead to conversions of, of many, many people. And there's only room for one global world-changing miracle. It can't be both at Garabandal and Medjugorje. It's either going to be in the pines on Garabandal, or it's going to be on, I don't know, whether it's going to be on the Apparition Hill in Medjugorje. They can't both be true. And the seers of both Garabandal and Medjugorje are both aware of this. You'll never find the Medjugorje seers making any reference to Garabandal. And you'll never find any of the Garabandal seers making any reference to Medjugorje. They both know that their claims are competing, that they're mutually exclusive. Either Garabandal is the continuation and the fulfillment of Fatima, or Medjugorje is. They're both claiming the same thing. They both can't be the single completion and fulfillment of Fatima. If you go to Garabandal and you speak to the people in the village, they're all of this opinion. All the people in the village who believe in the apparitions, they're all pretty sure that Garabandal is the true apparition and Medjugorje is this phenomenon that has somehow hijacked hijacked the attention that Garabandal ought to have. Perhaps they're a bit jealous. I mean, you go to Medjugorje, you see those beautiful hotels there. You go to Garabandal and you are stuck in a guest house where there's no heating and where you get fed the same food three nights running. Or perhaps, you know, three out of five days, you get the same food fed to you. And there's no, there's no shops, there's no places to buy your jewelry, there's no swimming pools. Um, so it's very different from Medjugorje. So maybe they're just jealous and that's why they don't want to accept Medjugorje. If you go to Medjugorje and you speak to the visionaries, the so-called visionaries, they won't give you any time to talk about the messages of Garabandal. They don't want to talk about that in any way. In fact, they don't actually want to talk about the messages of Our Lady of Fatima either. They just want to talk about Medjugorje and the schema uh, that is working out in Medjugorje, that there are these 10 secrets that the visionaries are going to receive. And when the 10 secrets are completed, then there is going to be a great miracle. There's going to be a great miracle. And in Garabandal, we have the warning, the warning that war will occur. And then after that, there's going to be an announced miracle where Conchita tells the world that a miracle is going to occur. I think it's a week's time. She gives a week's notice for everyone to get over to Garabandal and want to see this miracle. One of my friends who's a real Garabandal expert, he tells me that he thinks that when Conchita announces the miracle, at that moment, the visionaries of Medjugorje are going to announce their one. And so there's going to be this showdown and perhaps there'll be a diabolical miracle. Perhaps there'll be a satanic miracle occurring at Medjugorje, a distraction 
from the miracle at Garabandal, or maybe it's going to be the other way around. So not all apparitions of Our Lady are true. And then here's something else. Even among the true apparitions, not all messages relayed by the seers are going to be true. There's always going to be an imperfection in the transmission of a message from heaven through a seer. There's always going to be some imperfection. There's always going to be some room for error. There's going to be some room for the evil one to get in the way or for the for human desire to get in the way. You see, this is always going to be possible. So we should never take an apparition to be true to the degree that we don't consider rationally the possibility that the visionary has misunderstood something. We know at Fatima, for example, that on the day of the miracle of the sun, initially, Sister Lucy, Lucia, thought that Our Lady might have told her that the war had ended that day. That the second that the first world war had ended that day but later on there was a bit of reconsideration over the subject and and as she thought a bit more about it she realized perhaps our lady had said the war will soon be finishing and the soldiers will soon be returning home so there was a degree of of misunderstanding that Sister Lucia had at that particular apparition. And I think at Garabandal that this has happened uh, a lot. I think that especially with some of the locutions that the girls said they had and some of the many, because they had so many conversations with Our Lady, I think it's quite possible that there has been some confusion uh, passed on along with some truth from these messages at Garabandal. As to Medjugorje, my view is that it's a fraud, that it's not a true apparition in any way, shape or form. So that's why I think for certain that the two apparitions are mutually exclusive. You can't believe both Medjugorje and the messages of Garabandal. And actually, you can't believe the messages of Medjugorje and Fatima because actually they say completely different things. And if you want to look at my video, looking at what Our Lady is not saying at Medjugorje, that will help you to see why. Our Lady is not talking about the Rosary at Medjugorje. She's not talking about the Immaculate Heart at Medjugorje. She's not talking about Hell at Medjugorje. She's not talking about many of the subjects that were so important for her at Fatima, and which actually seem to be of equal importance in the apparitions at Garabandal, if, if indeed they are true. So may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.